and, and just insulting and degrading their, their, their religious beliefs. Christ used both defense and offense. He was very defensive with Nicodemus when he came to him in the middle of the night. Uh, he was certainly very defensive with those who came and came with an open heart. But he was also very offensive. Take a look and see what he did with money changers there in the temple. Or look at Matthew 23. The entire chapter from verse 13 to 33. You hypocrite, you den of vipers, you white sepulcher. Over and over and over again. That's my Jesus. You hypocrite, you den of vipers, you white sepulcher, mm -hmm. over and over and over again. That's my Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's the side of Jesus we don't like. Now, if that's offensive, then we need to ask, what was Jesus doing? Mm -hmm. Of course he was offensive. The gospel, by definition, is offensive. And, and just insulting and degrading their, their, their religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to stop and ask ourselves, if we're going to be preaching the gospel, if we're going to say that God came to earth, that's going to offend the Muslim. If we're going to say that God actually uh, claimed to be God, uh, man, Jesus claimed to be God, that's offensive to Muslims. If we're going to say that God actually died on the cross, that's hugely offensive to Muslims. But I refuse to open my mouth unless I say those three things. Mm -hmm. I've got to preach the gospel, and by definition, the gospel is offensive. When yeah. he leaves Mecca, he was persecuted in Mecca because he kept antagonizing them, making fun of their gods. And that's vitally important yeah. to emphasize. And so they he start, started it. Yeah, they persecuted him. As long as, he wasn't, as long as he wasn't mocking their gods, they didn't have a problem with them. And that's in the Muslim sources. Um, it's only because he kept ridiculing their gods and, uh, and, and just insulting and degrading their, their, their religious beliefs. I'm pointing that out because that's what Muslims say that, that no one's supposed to do about Islam, but that's exactly yeah. what Muhammad did. So yeah. if he's the moral example, you should always criticize other people's religions. That's in the Muslim sources. That's in the Muslim sources. He was persecuted in Mecca because he kept antagonizing them, making fun of their gods. And that um, it's only because he kept ridiculing their gods. Wasn't, as long as he wasn't mocking their gods, they didn't have a problem with them. And just insulting and degrading their, their, their religious beliefs. You hypocrite, you hypocrite, you hypocrite. You hypocrite, you hypocrite. But he was also very offensive. Take a look and see what he did with money changers there in the temple. Or look at Matthew 23. The entire chapter from verse 13 to 33. You hypocrite, you den of vipers, you white sepulcher. Over and over and over again. That's my Jesus. And that's the side of Jesus we don't like. Now, if that's offensive, then we need to ask, what was Jesus doing? Of course he was offensive. The gospel, by definition, is offensive. You hypocrite, you, you hypocrite, you, you hypocrite. You. Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. That's a valid criticism.